Imagine how easy it would be to upgrade the New York City subway if they could just take two months off, just two months of no service and they could fix it. They would get decades of work done in two months. Obviously, that's never going to happen. Or uh, the other way of saying it, if it did happen, we have much, much bigger problems. So this I, this does sounds like a pretty essential system. Why why is Doge then so eager to get access to it? What do they need access to the system for? This isn't fully clear. Um, one obvious thing is data, and this is you know pretty easy. Now, now, by now, when when I was first writing about this in say February third, it was not a hard call, but it was a bit speculative. I didn't know for a fact, like I had two sources or whatever, that they wanted to collect a whole bunch of data, use it for its own purposes, sell it off to people in other countries, so on. We've had a few months. Now we have reporting on these kind of incidents happening, uh, on data being, data being centralized, breaking various privacy protections, um, targeting immigrants, you know, trying to get access to systems where immigrants have given their information to the federal government under the completely legally binding statutory commitment that, say, a Border Patrol or ICE aren't going to have access to that data and be able to use it to deport you because we have social goals that require collecting that kind of data that are beyond, hey, we're, we're deporting a whole bunch. Of and, you know, all, so the, there's all sorts of things on the data. But the thing that I have been focusing on a lot, because it is kind of beyond the purview of most others to focus on, and because it's, it's technical, but it's really important, is their ability to use direct control of the Treasury's payment system to, to, to worsen the constitutional crisis that they basically immediately started uh, as soon as they got into power. And that constitutional crisis is called empowerment. And the term empowerment is a constitutional term discussing the executive branch, you know, kind of the presidency, but all, you know, all the, all the administrative agencies that go, go in there, having it like, and, but specifically the president, the executive, deciding not to spend money that Congress has appropriated or, you know, and Congress appropriating funds is just a fancy way of saying Congress is directing a certain amount of money to be spent. 